She beeped me. I wrote out a list of everything that I need. I'm in my Christmas PJs. There we go. Also, I need to tell you guys, Hello everyone, it is November and I don't know if it's too early but I am going to start decorating for Christmas. Every year when Christmas is over it just feels like the Christmas season went by too quick. So I think now living in America, married to an American, now as an American citizen, we have Thanksgiving at the end of November and I feel like because of that reason a lot of people are like, you know, you have to do like one holiday at a time. So Thanksgiving and then you can start Christmas but then it's like basically December. But being in Australia with no Thanksgiving, I feel like a lot of us start decorating and start doing Christmas stuff in November and I know there's still like some some of my friends here are like starting to decorate in November but it's such a debate here do you decorate before or after Thanksgiving and this year I just really want to make the most of it so it's November 2nd the start of this vlog and I'm going to go look for some Christmassy stuff I just got some of our Christmas stuff out of storage we have a fake Christmas tree like a pre-lit one which is such a genius idea by the way we'd never had those in Australia maybe we we do now but when I used to live in Australia we always did the lights ourselves anyway so we have a fake Christmas tree I really like to put that up somewhere I'm not sure where because we'll get a real Christmas tree in like our main living room area but I'm like we have a fake one we may as well put it up as well so I might get that out over the weekend I'm just so excited I've been playing Christmas jazz music I have such a great chill instrumental jazz Christmas playlist that I've been playing through the house. It just feels cozy. I woke up this morning. It's been so cold the past couple days and I woke up this morning, opened our curtains and it looked like it had snowed, but I was also half asleep. So I was probably a bit like, what? And I said, Gabe, it looks like it snowed, but it was frost all on our grass. And there was a deer with antlers, like reindeer walking through the frost. It was so dreamy. So whenever it snows, it's just going to look so pretty. Anyway, I have a little bit of time now. Makai's just gone down for a nap, so I'm gonna head out. Um, I think I'm gonna stop by Anthropology. They have such great Christmassy stuff. I'm not sure how much they'll have in store, but I thought I'd go take a look, and then I might, I don't know, I'll see with the amount of time that I have, like, how many places I can hit, but Merry Christmas. <laughs> it's the most wonderful time of the year. I'm also so rugged up. Well, it says it's 49 Fahrenheit outside. I'll put Celsius. That's probably around 10 celsius but it's been so cold yesterday it was like in the 30s all day today is a bit warmer but still i'm just like we got out our coats it's really exciting i just like get in the best mood this time of year anyway okay so i'm going to head to a couple stores and anthropology let's see what we can find I went into a couple stores, went into anthropology. They didn't have the exact stuff that I was looking for, but I did get some things that I had seen online. So I will show you once I go back home and like show you what I got. I got back in my car and my car was parallel parked on kind of a busy street, like where the shops were. I was getting in. As I got in the car, no one was waiting on the street, but I guess this person had like seen me from afar. So they were like probably like driving up, saw me from afar, get in. I didn't realize that they were like sitting behind me waiting for me to move. And I'm all for that. Like it bugs me when someone can see that I've like indicated like waiting for their park and then they just like sit in the car even though they're seeing that I've indicated. I didn't see them so I do feel a little bad. You know it made me think like not every time someone gets in the car it doesn't mean that they're like ready to go straight away. I didn't even know where I was gonna drive to next so I was like trying to sit and think. I was like do I have time to go to Hobby Lobby? I had to drive home for a, a work call. Long story short she beeped me. It was probably like 10 seconds like it wasn't very long. I was just like do I go home? Do I get out my camera and vlog and show what I got or should I do that at home? Like I was just kind of thinking and she honked and honked me in front of everybody honked me sounds weird but you know what I mean I don't know are you like team honk or are you team like move on because I feel like if I'm waiting for a park and then they don't move I'm like okay they're clearly like not leaving yet I'll go find another one I just am not a fan of the honk I always say to Gabe like a honk only sounds rude and we need like a polite honk and then a regular honk because the polite honk could be like do 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 <laughs> not 
definitely know that but it could be kind of like a honk to like let someone through or something like that but all honks in my opinion just sound rude like you're being like yelled at so i ended up driving home took the call we ate the cookies and i'm gonna head to hobby lobby now and see what they have gabe's aunt has been in town for a couple weeks with us and she went there the other day she's like jess they're starting to set up christmas stuff i'm gonna go see what they have let me know are you team honk or team no honk <laughs> I feel like whenever you go into Hobby Lobby, it's like an hour. I think this is nice. It's cute. But I just forgot to check the price of it. And then when he scanned it, he's like, okay, that's $79.99. And I was like, I forgot that they had 50% off Christmas. I feel like they always have 50% off. Good evening. It is almost 8.30. I've just been planning out. I'm doing my first ever, not my first ever, but kind of my first shepherd's pie tomorrow night. We used to have it a lot when I lived in Australia and I've never made it. Like, I guess since being married to Gabe, I've never made it. So I like really felt like a warm, hearty shepherd's pie. So I wrote out a list of everything that I need. I have like most of it which is really good but i'm just doing a grocery order of like some different things that i need thyme rosemary parsley that type of stuff so i'm just doing that i'm in my christmas pjs gabe's watching some youtube i've just been like watching youtube as i've been cleaning and stuff i still need to show you the christmas stuff that we got we being you and me what we got the other day i've set some of it up i still haven't set up like all of our christmas stuff i think i might try to do that tomorrow i think i mentioned we have a fake christmas tree in our garage and we're going to get a real christmas tree as well but i'm like we have the fake one in the garage let's put it to use let's put it up so i'm trying to figure out where to put it anyway i'm also planning out the month a little bit it's crazy since moving into this house we've kind of had back-to-back -back guests the whole time we've lived here for a couple months now maybe like three months and we've had four weekends alone which is so crazy we don't have any guests for a couple more days. We have Gabe's little brother coming into town in a couple days. So it's just been nice like resetting the house, having some, I don't know, just some like time to myself to like plan the rest of the year. I got sent this, I think when I lived in Florida like a couple years ago, the brand is Sapphire. It's a really cute monthly planner. I've never really used it before, but I always kept it cause I love paper planners and stuff. And so I've just been writing out everything that's happening this month, traveling, guests, my parents, come back for Christmas which I'm so excited about so it's just like a lot of planning anyway let me take my airpods out it has just felt so crazy I'm so glad we started Christmas like earlier this year I feel like last year we pretty much started it at the start of December also I'm working with mixed tiles on my Instagram and I put it up today and it looks so cool I'm sure you've heard of them I'm not gonna do like this isn't Swanson but I, I just wanted to show you because how cute does that look and it's crazy it's a magnet it's so wild this is in like the entrance of our house I still need to like decorate this properly but this I got this from Hobby Lobby and I don't know it just looks so cute up there with our little scrabble letters we got this art piece done ages ago actually it's so cute up there I'm gonna clean up Makaya's toy room it is just too much I need to rotate her toys again and she got a new love every box which are the like Montessori subscription boxes that come like every couple months she loves them so much but when the new boxes come I need to like put other things away because there's just too much going on <laughs> right now also we do have a box this was one of our closet boxes so it's really like long really tall and she loves it we made like little door handles and there's a window and she plays in that every single day and it's been in here for a couple weeks so for christmas my family want to get makaya like a little cubby tent um which would be good because it can replace the cardboard box anyway i'm gonna clean see you in a second oh my gosh also gabe's cousin i don't know what she would be to Makaya, like second cousin, third cousin, some family that came recently. Yeah, Gabe's cousin made her this, like made, fully made this. It's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna clean. Maybe this doesn't look any cleaner. Maybe it does, but I have so much fun doing this. 
I rotated a lot of stuff like we have a storage closet right there that has two boxes of toys a lot of it to be fair is like stuff that she's outgrown that we'll just keep for a future baby like a lot of like more baby toys but there is stuff that I'm able to like rotate. I moved her little cardboard house and her ball pit and switched out all of her books, some different like soft toys. I'm excited for her to wake up and see like what she gravitates towards like straight away or like what she notices is different. I try to put like kind of one activity in each little cubby. So hopefully she likes it. Love this flooring. This has been away for a while so she'll probably be excited to see that. It is the next day. You need to just excuse the fact that my mascara has run under my eyes. I have been cooking our dinner. I thought I would show you. I started cooking maybe like an hour ago. It's definitely time consuming to do, but I wanted to start it early. It's 4.20 in the afternoon because this section needs to cool so the top layer of like mashed potatoes can go on top that is it so i just need to let it cool down a little bit and then i'll put it in the fridge i was chopping onions and they got me really bad this time i like had to go step outside and get some fresh air so don't mind that i should go fix that okay i'm going to show you what i got from the store the other day for christmas it's days later and i still haven't shown you so these are the mugs i got from anthropology i was looking at them i wanted them last year and i didn't end up getting them so got them this year and they are so cute we are using them every day at the moment but i've just put them up there to be on display a little bit and then i got this stuff from kirkland's which i've never been to before but i got these really cozy throw blankets and then these little cushions i think it looks so cute like having them kind of like overlapped on the couch it's so cozy Makara and i have been sitting here in the mornings reading some books go away Read some books. Why am I so out of breath? And then so I put another cushion right there. I think I'm gonna go get the Christmas tree from the garage. When I say that, I mean I'm going to ask Gabe to go get it because it is big and heavy. I don't know if I'll put it, this is where I, the room that I want the real tree, which we're getting in like two weeks. So I don't know if I should put the fake one in here in the meantime, or I was thinking I could put it up in that corner or in my office. I don't know, but I think I'm gonna get it out. I think Mikhail will love it. This is Santa Claus thing. So what I need you to do is hold Santa Claus for me. Makaya, look. Whoa, look at this. Can you hold Santa for me? It's I'm gonna attach Santa. Yeah, you can dance to it. Okay, it is Thursday and a couple of things. First thing is Gabe's little brother Nico landed this morning. So that's exciting. We have him in town for a couple days. Second thing is Gabe and I spent pretty much all morning designing some Christmas merch for So Far So Good. So it probably won't be out by the time this is out, but we ordered samples and I'm so excited. Gabe's right behind me, by the way. That's why I'm kind of like looking off camera. Third thing is Micaiah is taking a nap. She will probably be awake soon. And the fourth thing is, since Nico's in town and I don't know, I was like, what should we do? What's what's fun? What should we all do as a family? And Gabe said, we should go to the zoo. This was my idea. No, Nico said, please. And me and Nico together said, <laughs> you know what we should do as adults is go to the zoo. I think Micaiah is going to love it. She loves looking at animals. I know it's a bit cloudy, but it's not forecast to rain until tonight. Unless... <clears throat> It only says at two o'clock it's gonna rain, which is soon. I think we can still go. Anyway, so, oh, she's waking up. We're gonna go to the zoo. Micaiah loves animals, so I think she'll really love just going there for a couple of hours. There's kangaroos. Anyway, that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the day. And then Gabe and Nico have a little boys night planned with some friends, kind of like a belated birthday for Gabe. So they're, they're going out on the town, aren't you, honey? I will have the house to myself once Micaiah's asleep. And then I think I'm gonna do more Christmas decorating.
it is almost seven o'clock and Gabe and his little brother have gone out. They're going to, if you visit Nashville or if you live in Nashville, it's called Pins Mechanical. And it's basically this thing that has like bowling and pinball machines, ski ball. There's like a lot of different things. It's a really fun place. So they've gone there to meet a couple friends. Whenever I have the house to myself, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just want to lay down and like relax. Even just sitting in the silence, I'm like, oh my God. Part of me is like, I should finish decorating with the Christmas stuff because we have two Christmas boxes down there. Or I'm like, I should bake some muffins for everyone for tomorrow, <laughs> which I might do that because I am listening to an audiobook right now. It is called The Perfect Marriage. I think I'm maybe 60% of the way through. I'm really enjoying it. I could finish listening to that while I bake some muffins, but I'm also really tired and I would love to just lay down. <sighs> The struggle. The zoo was so fun. And we went there with just under two hours before closing time. So there wasn't a lot of time just with how it lined up with Makai's nap, but we basically saw everything and we were just walking really fast. So it was like almost 5,000 steps that we did in a couple hours. So it was really good, but she loved it. She just like loves, loves animals, loves looking at animals. Also, I need to tell you guys, Gabe and I got the most exciting opportunity last night in our email. I think that's gonna be my next vlog. So you will find out, but we got a week's notice for this really awesome opportunity. And I can't believe it. I know like that's so annoying. I'm leaving you on a cliffhanger, but it's like being finalized right now, but it's literally next week. And I'm like, what the heck? So I'm really excited to film that. Is 9 20 and it's one of those nights where I feel like I didn't do anything I ended up baking the muffins they turned out really good but it's 9 20 which is like my bedtime so I think I'm just gonna head to bed and read I thought I would go through with you my current like reads stuff that I've been reading I keep track of it all on my goodreads I also have a journal kind of like a, a bullet journal ish slash like reading journal but I haven't updated that since I've moved into this new house. I don't even know the last time I like mentioned books that I've been reading, but my friend and I have started, it's not even a book club. It's just like literally the two of us. We need to get some more of our friends into it, starting to read books together, which is really cute. So I'm just gonna read the list of like the books that I've like recently read. So my last recently read was Accidentally Amy, which is like a little rom-com. I read it at three stars out of five. My book club friend had also read it and we're talking about it and it was good. I feel like sometimes rom-coms are just like an easy read, but not like life-changing. Anyway, it was cute. Then I read Love Theoretically, which I was expecting this to be a five-star read for me because so many people love this book. The average score on Goodreads is 4.18. I rated it three and a half and I don't even remember why I rated it at that. I don't remember. I need to start making like notes about my feelings like in the moment because here I am like I don't even remember. The one before that was the last thing he told me which was an audiobook that I listened to. That was a four out of five. I find that with thrillers and mysteries I like love it but I have such a high expectation for the ending and then it lets me down. So I enjoyed it but yeah yeah, I think I rated it four stars and not five because I didn't love the ending. The one before that was The Housemaid, which I ranked four and a half stars. That was our first little like book club read together, which was really cute and a really fun one because we both read it really quick. It was one that we just couldn't put down and it, it's a book that you're like, okay, I'm just gonna read one more chapter. And I remember they were short chapters, which I love because you can just like get through them really quick. So I really loved this. I feel like again, it was only four and a half and not five because of the ending I want to say I again don't remember I really need to start making notes let me see I do think I'm going to read the sample of fourth wing which everyone you know everyone's read it everyone loves it my book club friend just read it and she loved it and is now reading the like sequel to it so I might read that I like never read fantasy so you guys let me know from like from the books that I've read I read rom-coms and mystery thrillers 
do you think I would like fourth wing? Let me know. Anyway, the book I'm reading right now was one that I saw on Haley Pham's Goodreads. I love following people's Goodreads to like see what they're reading. It's, I just love seeing like what they rate them and stuff. So she had this one to serve with love and it just sounded right up my alley. I love New York rom-coms. <laughs> I was telling Gabe the other night, I was like, I love books set in New York. Like I think they're my favorite to read. Anyway, let me know what you're reading. I would really like my book club friend and I to do her name's Maddie I need to stop calling her book club friend I would really like us to do a Christmas read for our next book I think I've only read two Christmassy themed books last year I'll be on the hunt so if you have your favorite favorite Christmassy book maybe set in New York <laughs> Let me know, please let me know because I'll make a list and then we can go through them together. Anyway, oh my gosh. I respect your decision, but whoever decorates after Thanksgiving, you're just not giving yourself enough time to really soak in this season. <laughs> Especially with kids, I feel like I just want this Christmas season to like last forever because she's just enjoying it so much. <sighs> I'm gonna go get ready for bed. I cannot believe the next video that I'm gonna film. <laughs> Again, not to leave you on a cliffhanger, but seriously, such a crazy opportunity. Gabe and I are like, what? We looked at our email last night and we were like, there's no way. <laughs> anyway, if you have a guess, let me know because it's literally next week. I'm going to go wash my face, brush my teeth, like get in my PJs and read to sew with love. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night and Merry Christmas. <laughs> I will see you in my next video. Bye.